Hiya Nines, Mr Dobson here. Uh, I've just put together this little short video just to show you how we're going to uh, set up our page uh, ready for drawing up our uh, acrylic design for our USB uplighter. So the first thing you need to do on your computer is in the search bar just type in 2D design and click on the 2D design app. Uh, that'll bring up the, the sort of basic page layout. Again, to get rid of this, uh, this box on screen just click anywhere on the blue background. When you open 2D Design, it defaults to an A3 page, so we need to change that to match the size of acrylic that we're going to use. So how to do that, we go up to Setup at the top, down to Drawing, and then across to Layout. And as you can see, at the moment, it's defaulted to A3. We actually want to change that to a, a User Defined, so we're going to tell it what size to do. So click on the little radar button next to User Defined, and the acrylic that we're going to have for our work is going to be 120 millimeters. Uh, across and it's going to be 160 millimeters up uh, we need to do that on the material and the design guide so I'm just gonna change that there uh, again we need to leave this design offset at zero so it needs to be exactly the same um, that I've got on screen there and once you've done that you then click OK and you'll see that it then changes the page layout to match the acrylic that we're going to use once we've done that we're then going to uh, put a series of lines, so we're basically going to do a, a cut line around the outside and then we're going to start putting on the positions of where we're going to have our two holes that actually bolt it all together. So the first thing we're going to do to do that is click on this colour icon next to the line, so not the fill one, you need to be on the line colour. So click on this one here and for this one we're just going to choose this um, green, this is lime green from the custom colour. So make sure you that's, you'll, you'll be able to see that on there. Once I've done that, I'm then going to go to the rectangle tool, so the shapes icon, click on the rectangle tool, and then I'm going to go right over to the other side and click on grid lock. Because I want to uh, draw a rectangle, you'll see that I'll now slap, snap to each of these dots, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle the exact same size as our design guide page. Once I've done that, I'm then going to use this icon here, so I'm going to hover over this, I'm going to left click and hold down the left mouse, that gives me more options and I want to select this option here which says draw a contour parallel to a line, circle or curve. So once I've done that, this time I want to change that contour space, it's basically like a copy tool, so we're going to copy this bottom line up 19 millimeters. so we only want one of them, and we want to graphical path, it doesn't really matter which one we select here but uh, I'll uh, put that on there. So again, if I use the little finger, just hover it above the line and then left click, you'll see I uh, get a copy of, of that line. Um, I'm then going to do the same, so double click on it, but this time I'm going to change that measurement to 20 millimeters. So we're going to then copy, so rather than getting anywhere near this line, I'm going to come up sort of midway, again, just to the inside of this vertical line. Click there and do exactly the same, so just on the inside of the opposite vertical line. Like I say, if you get it wrong, it'll just copy it on the, uh, the opposite side, so you just have to delete that by selecting delete. Um, once we've done that, we then just need to, um, to change the next one. So let me just, uh, very quickly, so the height of ours was 90 millimeters minus 3 divided by 2, yeah, it's 8, so we're going to change it to 8 millimeters now. Click OK, and this time we're going to select this horizontal line that we've uh, that we put on first, and we're going to go just underneath that horizontal line, so we have an 8 millimeter distance from there. So basically we've got 8 millimeters, we've then got another 8 millimeters, and then the 3 millimeters of uh, aluminium for our bracket. Right, once we've got those um, those positions, and let's say all we've done here really is um, is lay out this line and the, and the position of these circles, I'm then going to cut out that circle. So to do that, I'm going to click on the circle icon, hold down again with the left mouse, move over to this draw circle with a given centre and radius. We want to change the radius to two millimetres, start angle can stay at naught, and then we're just going to select this cross. Before we do that, we need to um, take gridlock off, double click on this uh, attach icon, this square with a dot in the middle, and we can then change it from snapping to an end point of a line to change it to uh, where two lines intersect or cross. And you'll see, puts a little box around it, 
If I get that little box somewhere near, you'll see it jumps to the middle. So we end up with our two circles um, drawn on there. Once we've got those circles drawn on, we actually don't need these uh, construction lines. So we're going to click on delete any. I'm just going to select that vertical line there, select that vertical line, and then select that centre line going through the middle of the circle. Again, so we want the orange to cut out. However, what we don't want is that line there to then cut out. So what we're going to do, we're just going to change that colour. So again, I've gone to the select icon, the little arrow, select that line, and then go back up to colour. And I'm now going to change that colour to the, uh, the blue next to that lime green. So we've then got the green's going to cut out all the way through. So the outside and the two circles will cut all the way through, and where that, um, that blue line is, it will then just engrave that line for us. So that's the first start, uh, the first stage of getting our page laid up. Once you've done that, you'll want to save your work. And again, call it um, Year 9 Uplighter Acrylic. I'm going to save mine in my OneDrive file. Again, when you do it, can you save it with your, your name at the end of it? So, again, when we come to print it, Mr. Murray knows whose file that is when we put it in the, uh, in the Dropbox. So, that's our work saved. It should uh, change at the top so we know that you've got that work saved. So that's the first stage done.